Hello, hello, my amazing artists. Today, we talked about designing um, our artwork, and I just want to read for you a really great book about design. And it says, complicated doesn't make it good. Design is all about the perception of size, shape, and color. Perception is how we see things. Chapter one, all or nothing. Take the two shapes on the right. They relate to each other in every way. Change the size of one, in this case, increase it, and you lessen the impact of the other. Unless, you do something to draw attention to it again. And so on. And so on. And so on. It's all or nothing. You can't change one piece without it affecting all the other pieces. The box. Take a look at the square on the right. Imagine drawing two straight lines that intersect only once inside the, inside the square. Intersect means that they cross over each other. Take your time, I'll wait. Did your lines look something like this? Or this? Straight lines can indicate strength and structure. Diagonal lines can indicate speed and movement. Chapter 3, 139. 139 is a ratio. It can also be a strong graphic tool. The largest square is about three times as big as the second largest square, which, about, which is about three times as big as the smallest square. This means the largest square is the most important piece on the page. Apply this idea to a whole page, and it might look something like this. And so on. And so on. Can you see me now? Chapter 4. What is contrast? I'm thinking of a number between 1 and 10. Can you tell what it is? No? How about now? That's contrast. The difference between light and dark. Chapter 5. Letters are shapes too. The letter A. A is for angles. The letter H. H is for horizontal and vertical lines. The letter T. T is for 3, as in 139. The letter S. S is for curves. I know C should be for curves, but I like how S looks better. Chapter 6. Color Schmeller. There are warm colors. There are cool colors. Warm colors are aggressive and advance. Cool colors are passive and retreat. Chapter 7. Do I look fat on this side? This page is unbalanced. This green square gets all the attention because it's the only piece there until it's balanced with an equally strong presence. Now it isn't balanced. Now it is. Now it isn't. Now it is. Isn't. 
is. This could take a while. Why don't you go on and I'll catch up. Chapter 8. Hey, look at me! The space between objects can tell you what's important and what's not. The shape of an object can tell you what's important, too. So can the color. I wouldn't use all three at once if I were you. Chapter 9. Complicated doesn't make it good. Nice and simple, just the way I like it. Still simple. I'm still happy. Uh-oh. Hmm. Hmm. Just because something is complicated doesn't mean it's good. Chapter 10. Putting it together. 139. About. Cool colors for treat. The letter A. Warm colors advance. Balance. Changing one thing affects everything. And so on. Design is all about the perception of size, shape, and color. The end. Boys and girls, I hope this helped answer a few design questions that you have and help you learn some of these ideas that artists and designers use every day. All right, happy creating!